then next is the O'Neill fight. Now, for O'Neill, all you need to beat O'Neill is one shock bolt. I didn't pick it. Try this again. Uh, shock bolt we have. Okay. That is it. Now, I'm going to explain. I'm going to explain this tactic before I actually do it. Um, but um, here's here's what you need to do. Now, let me uh, let me get something from lozenge, a little ice breaker here. Okay. So, when you fight O'Neill, this switch right here, there's no, no sense in pulling it now. This switch right here will activate those sprinklers right there. And that'll put fire out in this area. Cause, and by the way, just so I want to I want to say ahead of time, anybody that's watching this, this is a massive spoiler that's coming up for this game. So if you want if you want to bail now, now would probably be the time to do it because this is a spoiler. This is going to reveal a boss that um, that's pertinent to earlier parts of the game. So with that said, we're going to go and show you how to get rid of this boss with one shock bolt. Because I've watched people, I, when I first did this, I watched videos, and um, people was unloading sniper rounds, and shotgun rounds, and running, and I'm not kidding you, it took me six solid hours to figure this tactic out. And I'm going to see if I still got it. So, okay. Okay, so... With that said, that sprinkler is one that you'll want to pull. And what's going to happen? Now you get too close to that door over there, it's going to trigger the cutscene. You don't have to you don't have to hit no buttons, no nothing. It just goes. So, until you're ready to deal with O'Neill, stay away from that door. There's your other sprinkler. That's the first one we're going to use. So once we approach that door, it will it will trigger a cutscene about O'Neill talking to um, one of the other characters, a lady. I don't remember which one it was now. But anyway, what you're going to end up, you're going to end up about right here when that cutscene is done. And what you're going to do is you're going to pop him with a shock bolt which will stick him in place for a little bit you're gonna run down here and throw it you gotta do this throw this water sprinkler because there will be fire blocking this door if you don't throw that water sprinkler you ain't getting through that door so that's high priority and as soon as you do that you then come right over here and you throw this one. Okay? The rest of this fight is all about this wall right here that I'm going around. Okay? This wall right here is how we're going to beat O'Neill. And what we're going to do is we're going to stick on this wall because he's going to the way that we're going to do it, we're going to have him come from this direction right here that I'm pointing. Uh, and when he comes that way, you're going to get on this wall and stick to it. And you're going to watch around the right hand side of this wall. Do not, I repeat, do not look around the left side of this wall because you will take damage. And on... Um, On um, classic mode, huh, that damage hurts. Okay, so what you'll want to do is O'Neill will, he's got a flamethrower. He'll come this way and he'll stop. 
okay and you're going to be over here looking now what you've got to do you've got to lean out so he can see you yeah if you don't then here's what's going to happen his his path his preset path will have him going this way and then he goes around and on back around the the, the circuit so you've got to get him to see you once he sees you he will turn towards you and come this way when he does as soon as he and you'll and you'll see it I'll show you he'll jerk you come around here and you stick on this wall he will walk to the to the corner of that wall but he stops and he won't come any farther and then when he figures he did he was just seeing things he'll turn and buddy as soon as he does you come around there and stab him with a knife and then you get behind this wall and you ring around the rosy with him and you do it again the second time he attacks you and you do that it's going to go into a little cut scene where he's shooting at a door or something you've got a hall rear end out of this room the closest exit that's available either that way or down around this way and then you go back to that wall you and you just wait you wait for him to get in the circuit that where he comes around this way and he stops and he looks at you and then he shoots his flamethrower and I'm telling you four on classic mode it takes four knife stabs to get him okay so here we go let's see if I still got it okay that's crouch we've got our shock bolt that's run okay here we go let's see if I still got it and just to show you we are on classic mode right there I just loaded slot 10 as you can see it says the save spot spot is classic so just so you don't think I'm a cheating you we're on classic watch what happens if you get too close to this door see it goes straight in to that cutscene and then you got to deal with him so don't approach that door until you're ready now I'm just going to skip this I don't want to set through it see how he rolls got to throw that one see that'll put this out come over here we got to get those out of course Mr. Marlboro Man cigarette smoker he runs out of breath about as fast as uh, anything especially on classic okay so now here he comes now what we've got to have him do is go the other way now again, patience is key to this strategy. There he goes. Okay. He can't see you through that over this way, but I still prefer to stay on this side just to be sure. So here he comes now again if you if you peek at him on this left hand side you're gonna get cooked so you need to stay on this side right here okay and when he walks around here you what you'll see him the animation changes okay and he turns towards you and that's when you go back around this wall so we're just going to wait here on him. You can actually see his flame. See it? You can see his flamethrower coming. Now he will he'll fly his flame at this wall. See that we're on? You don't take damage. On the other side, you do. Now here he comes. Now you've got to make sure his cat sees you. But you don't stand up. You just lean out, lean out, lean out, lean out. Here he comes. 
Now we stick on this wall. He won't come any farther than the corner of that wall. Okay. Here he is. Now go. Okay. Now what we want him to do is give up and go back on his circuit again. Because now he's going to circle this wall. Um, okay. Yep, he's going to come back this way. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get out of here um, because we need him to reset. Whatever you do, don't use different tactics, okay? You want him to reset into his normal pattern. And once he resets into that normal pattern, stab, rinse, and repeat. I'm telling you, there, there's no... I've used the I've used the only ammo in this against this guy, and that was that shock bolt at the very first. He he will probably let's see if he's back in his pattern yet. Yes, I told him. We just essentially got to get him back in his pattern. Give in, Sebastian. Listen to him. You'll change your mind like you did mine. So with a little bit of patience. And and I have not seen anybody, no YouTube videos or anybody that's got down a method of taking O'Neill out without 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 an ounce of damage and without using any um, ammo other than the very first shock bolt at, at the beginning there he is he should he should be back in his pattern now and it looks like he is okay Okay, so we're just going to wait for his orange fire to come in around that curtain. Here he comes. I can see him. He will spray. Uh, he'll spray fire again. We want him to see us, but just barely. I am crouching, and I'm also using cover or sticking to the wall. He'll stop, spray fire. He's going to come over here. Right here he comes. Okay, we want him to see us. See, see his animation changed and he turned our way. And that's what we want him to do. Okay, because he'll come to the corner here and stop. And as soon as he turns, right there, stabby stab. Now it's going to go into a little cutscene. Now you got to get out as soon as the cutscene's done. Okay? Usually I go through the big door. I don't go around the hallway. See? This way. There. Now, what we should do, we got to find him. I'm sorry, Master. I won't let him get away. What, I promise. What we need to do is get this, uh, get these sprinklers kicked again. Um, just so we don't bump up against the fire.
that'll put this fire out right here, see? Now we gotta find him. Up oh, there he is, right there. Okay. Now the advantage is back in our court because we know where he's at. Now it's just a matter of patience letting him get back in his circuit. He goes out the door to our right, around, back in this way, hide on the wall, let him look towards you, come over to where we're at right here, go around, stab him. And that, folks, is beating O'Neill on classic mode using one ammo, the shock bolt, one shock bolt, that's it. Guaranteed to work every time with an ounce of patience and a knife. Here he goes. See, he's back, he's back in his routine now. So I didn't bother with that other um, fire extinguisher thing on the wall because we don't care about that one over there. Hang on, buddy. Okay. There he goes. He runs a very specific pattern. But once he's out of the pattern, you gotta give him time to get back in it. Here he comes. He'll spray the fire just like before. See, he's back in the pattern again. So we gotta watch, we got a little bit of fire around us, but we want him to see us. Come on, buddy. I won't go down easy. Yeah, he's seen us. If he doesn't see you, he takes off around that operating table. And um yes, Mama, I'm spamming the X oh, as I go around there too. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to boogie on out of here um, so that he'll reset. I might, I'll pull the, just to kill some time, I'll pull the fire extinguisher down there. Ow, see, I got on that fire, um, which is no big deal. That don't count. That's not O'Neill damage. Now the key is to find the old boy. We may. I won't let him get away. I promise. Okay, see, he knows I'm here. Let the flames consume you. See, I'm just horsing around here. Um, I took a bit of damage. But, um... Because I, I, I pulled that fire extinguisher whether I needed to or not, you know. He's really slow, so it's it's easy to keep away from him. Um, yes, Father Theodore. I told him. We just got to get him back in his pattern. There he is. Okay. 
I want back over here where I can keep an eye on him. All the confusion and guilt will go away. Okay, he's right over there behind that curtain. That's good. He's going to walk up here, turn around, and then shoot his fire back behind him the way he's walking. He should turn around and shoot the fire, and he does. Now he's going to walk out the door, and he's going to get back on his circuit. There he goes. Okay. So now we own the old boy. There he is right there. He is ours. Give him Sebastian. Listen to him. He'll change yeah, we're going to give in, all right. Run. Not. Okay, now it's just a matter of waiting to come around. This is time number four. He'll be dead. He will be dead. Yes, Father Theodore. I told him. After six hours of practice on this, I'm telling you. Wow. It took me... It took me three weeks to beat this game on you Classic. Okay, we got to make sure he sees us. We're just going to lean out. We want him to come our way. There he comes. See that part of the wall down there burns, but this one doesn't. We just wait right here, and O'Neill is all but dead. And there he goes. Here we go. Spam a little X. Thank you very much. hoo And that, ladies and gentlemen, is beating O'Neill with one piece of ammo. One. And I say take no damage. I was, I was mucking around, and I haven't played this in months. Uh, and I still did it the uh, very first time through. So, anybody out there that sees this, that uh, is planning on playing this game and having problems with him, there you go. No more O'Neal. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and click that like button down there and give us a big thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. Hey, and it shows us that you enjoy the content that we're bringing you too. Hey, and also, leave some comments down there. Say what's on your mind. It don't have to be about what this video was about. Hey, it can be about anything. Just say what's on your mind. Maybe some other people will jump in on the conversation and leave their thoughts and ideas too. And also, fellas, if you're new to this channel, uh, we'd love for you to subscribe. You can do that by clicking on the logo down there in the bottom right corner uh, for you computer user guys. And for the uh, mobile apps users, it'll just be the subscribe right below the video. Uh, but either way, guys, we would love to have you on the team. So guys, with that, like I always say, take care of yourself and we'll catch you on the flip side.